So, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Uh, I'm Ludovic Niederbach and I'm trying to be a photographer. So, if you have seen my last video, you could see the thumbnail. This camera was floating. And it was, when I was taking the thumbnail, I thought, okay, I'm doing some photography, the camera is going to be in the thumbnail. And I was trying different angles and see if I can find anything that looked good. And I decided I'm just gonna make it float. I'm just gonna make it hold it up like this and take away the straps. So this ain't something new. That's it's something pretty much everyone have done. But I did it uh, like a year ago. So I decided let's recreate something and do something cooler. Uh, I got more experience now. I know a lot more. Uh, so why not try it out and see if I can get a better photo of it. My girlfriend's brother is gonna help me and I got some props that I'm gonna use. I got, got this old Sony, it's not old, but I got a Sony camera and I don't know what to call it. Time glass? That's what I call it? I don't know, but I'm gonna see if I can do something cool with this, make it like hold it up like this or something. And I'm also gonna use this one, uh, my old mask, this one's old. So I just brought out the props box or whatever to call it. See what, what we're ending up with. It's, I got a few IDs, but nothing that's cut in stone like we say in Sweden. Cut in stone, so there's nothing that's really decided. So we're gonna, we're gonna go out and see if we can get any cool levitating, floating photos. So let's roll the intro and then we'll see you somewhere. <laughs> That was fun. Got a couple of good pictures. No, what really, it was really fun doing this shoot. It was easy to be creative with it. We just went down to the park that's like 100 meters away from here. Went down there, walked around a little bit, tried to see if we can find a good composition picture. Actually got a few ones. This one, for example, uh, my brother-in-law was, he was gonna lean towards a bush, but he fell through and we decided, okay, let's, let's hang the hourglass. That's what they call it, hourglass. Let's hang it up on the branch and it was holding on the sides. So it looks pretty cool. This one, uh, like the hourglass photography, it was, I decided to sloop the Sony camera. We didn't take any picture with that. Felt too much of a cliche making a camera float. So I just decided to take the hourglass. After a while, I decided, okay, like, hey, this looks cool, but I want to try to do something else. So after a while, we decided, okay, I got a couple of good pictures with this, but uh, I decided, okay, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's not have anything that hangs in front of us. And down in the park, uh, they got this walking path that goes like straight through. So decided it looks really cool with the bushes. And now when the, they started to get green and get a little bit thicker, I decided, okay, let's went back home, got an umbrella, a stool. So I went back, they were waiting for me. We set it all up. I took Oscar's girlfriend and let her. First I took the background photo. He was standing there, uh, pulled focus on him. I'll turn the camera to manual focus, took a photo. He, he moved out of the way first of all, took a photo and then he put the stool there 
and let his girlfriend stand on it with the umbrella, trying to look like she was flying away. We went back and I did a little of editing and it ended up this way. Everything looks cool. Could have been like if she, it was hard, the stool was pretty small, but if she, she'd been standing on, on her toes, it would have been like looking like she was floating more. But it still looks really good. I put that a shadow. And when we were done with this, uh, we went to, it's a mountain here in town. It, it's pretty much the town is surrounding the mountain. If you go up there, you get a pretty good view over this town. So we snapped a couple of pictures, walked around there. I actually got a few good pictures, but they don't belong in the video. This was definitely a funny shoot to do. Uh, we had a lot of fun, we were laughing, and I got a good picture out of it. So you should definitely go out and try it. If you got the, I don't have the skills, but if you go out, try it. Like I used a fishing, fishing string. Is that what we call it? Yeah, fishing string. Tied the hourglass to it, and we was, he was holding it in his hand, and made it float in front of him. And then I just edit the fitting line away. So it's really easy to do all that. So I highly recommend you try try it out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And also go to my Instagram and follow me there. Because that's where I upload all the pictures. Also, if you're interested, uh, I'm now selling paintings no i'm selling pictures on printer.com you should go there check them out see if you find something that you like uh, but yeah that's it for this video and uh, i hope to see you in the next one peace out yeah let's go i'ma make a couple stacks do exactly what i want to mix a couple tracks get a lady that i'm drawn to turn up to the max get me faded till i'm gone dude i do what i want couldn't stop me if you wanted to i just work hard yeah harder than the rest some people say i'm lucky others saying that i'm blessed but i keep my head down cause i crave progress you ain't never gonna stop me cause it's my conquest and i'm never gonna rest